Universal Peace Federation, an interfaith organization, and stakeholders in the education sector have called for the promotion of peace, character, and moral education in students and schools in the country. Sub-regional president of the organization made the call in Abuja at a stakeholders' preparatory meeting with representatives of the Ministry of Education, Universal Basic Education Board, and National Orientation Agency, among others. The brief summary of this program is that this is a peace-building project directed at Nigerian youth leaders and educators. It will train teachers and youth leaders to become resource persons in peace and character education in their communities and states. A total of 4,560 persons will be trained. Participants will learn the meaning of character education and come to understand and appreciate its importance for the development of young people's relationships in their family, in their workplaces, and in their communities. They will see this education as a way of helping young people avoid careless and self-destructive behavior, violence, substance abuse, promiscuity, and crime. They will be able to use character education as a capacity building tool for people they work with in their own areas of endeavor. This education is urgently needed to address the current degradation of character and moral values that is characteristic of our times. The program outcome will be the availability of ample pool of educators and resource persons that will bring awareness about the urgently required moral value and character development among youths in our communities. Director General of the National Orientation Agency, represented by Barista Theresa Nalui, Director Orientation and Behavioral Modification of the agency, said the agency was concerned about the moral decadence in the country. The fall of moral standards has become a pain in the development of Nigeria. The negative impact litters the entire landscape of our national life. Violence has become rampant and corruption has become an everyday occurrence. Money and material well-being are priority goals for millions of uh, people who will easily give up their moral principles for financial gains or authority. This moral decadence has adverse effects on the society because it changes cultural, moral, and social norms and set new but lower standards for appropriate behavior. The agency is setting up integrity clubs in secondary schools across the country as a medium to interact with students and educate them on the right values to practice. Senator Abu Ibrahim, the organization's Africa chairperson, said it was important to educate the youths on the importance of promoting peace and moral values in the country. I think this is what we need in this country. We have to start from the primary school up. Because as I've mentioned in my speech, I, came, I come from an area that I can see is a gradual degradation of, 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 of the society. Our children we have to be trained to understand the importance of peace. And I think I am highly committed now and I will do whatever is possible to participate in the program of UPF. Mrs. Dorothy Okwenu, a representative of the National Association of Proprietors of Private Schools in the FCT, spoke on class placement and character development. We cannot rule out character development. We cannot separate it from maturity in class placement in schools. We have age ranks for each class placement but it is not so in Nigeria and it is quite alarming the rate at which um, parents place their children you know under age children in schools and the child's mind is not yet developed to take up these social vices that we are seeing 